was humanity's light, a light that shines in the darkness, a light that shines in the darkness has never overtaken.
The Christmas story retold by Jesus of Nazareth, right before he came down to earth. I wonder what it's going to be like being a baby. You know, you're going to be in a dirty old feeding trough, right? I know. I'll live. <laughs> and I love animals. I know you do. But the whole danger thing has sparked your mom and dad a lot of worry. Yeah, I've been watching them, and I wish it could have been different. But they sell them. And all will be well. And they will be happy to see me. So, what's your plan? I'll scream a little and cry. Wet my diaper, pet the donkey. No, no, you're funny. I meant, what's your plan? I'm concerned about you. Hmm, let me see. You want a serious conversation? Yes. Since the Romans took over that Jerusalem area, it's pretty nasty. Herod is going from bad to worse, and the Roman governors are collaborating with the temple priests. Exactly. That's why now is the right time. There are a lot of good people there. I can see their hearts. But they're getting confused. I think many actually believe they're doing the right thing. Well, some are not. They look the other way, follow the money, Jesus. The rich are getting richer, and the poor are even worse than the poor. And it is heartbreaking. And that's why I must go. Remember Aeschylus? He did his trip to Earth about 500 years ago. Give or take. I love his aspiration. To tame the savageness of humans and make gentle the life of this world. It's time for metanoia. Metanoia? You know what metanoia is. I'm just joking, yeah. Metanoia, to change one's mind. I think I know why you picked that word. It's because of the caterpillars, right? I love those little guys. Oh, that little caterpillar melted down into the liquid in a cocoon and then completely transforming into a butterfly. That's crazy. Love that. Yeah, it's a good analogy because everything needed for the metamorphosis already exists in the cocoon. Melt it down and get something new and beautiful. The people need to change in the way of metanoia. We need to lead the people out of the paradigm of the empire's way of thinking and being into a world in which community, love, and hope can prevail. Well, how are you going to do that? Are you going to start a new religion? They already have plenty of those. You can become king and build an army. Yeah, let's build an army. I want to be there. I'll fight for you. I've been practicing. We will pick their rows. <laughs> She's so funny. No, I don't want to start a new religion. Instead, I'd like the birth to call people to a new life where the religious ideas they have now are overturned. Instead of retaliation for those who mistreat them, I want them to learn to love their enemies to give generously to those who beg or even steal from them, and to act in love toward all other beings, to treat them just as they would like to be treated themselves. Well, what about king? You can make a lot of changes if you want to. I'm afraid king's not in the cards, and it's not the way to go. To steal a line from Buckminster Fuller, <laughs> it's a few thousand years early. I don't think he'll mind. You never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change things, you need to build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. Hmm. So you're hoping to build something brand new. Yes. The story of my birth and life is a call for people to shift their consciousness about how to live in the world in peace and goodwill. Well, something needs to happen. Right now, they're basically just working to supply the privileged with their access while barely making ends meet for themselves and their families. Again, heartbreaking. I so much want for everyone to be full participants in this beautiful story of life, not just consumers and providers for the privilege. I'm going to Earth to teach a path that will allow them to transcend the paradigm that fools them into believing there's no alternative to the way things are. There is an alternative. There is more to life than just maximizing profit. You're hoping to create accountability mm -hmm. to spread the word that each of us has a choice. We can participate in the empire's way of thinking, or we can find courage, strength, and wisdom from the ages and make the existence <laughs> by creating a new plot. I love the animals. 
Exactly. We can choose the common good. Metanoia will bring us to the point where we can come together around any pressing issue in society and create a new path of presence. And the result is not to defeat opposition, not to create a win-lose, not to react in, in anger to those who disagree with, them, with you. To bring us into a new state of cooperation using all of our personalities and experiences, not threatened by, but celebrating our differentness in a way that stretches our boundaries and enhances our abilities. We can live with a new set of goals embracing all people, all colors, all races, all genders, no matter who or how they love, not focusing on their flaws, but focusing on their beauty. They will realize they're bound together in love because they are love. Right. And feeling love, they will have the courage to make the changes they need. And borrowing from an author who will write a book in the 21st century. <laughs> Inspiration is not gathered from over focusing on what is flawed. It resides in humanity's willingness to restore, reform, recover, reimagine, and reconsider. Healing the wounds of the earth and its people does not require saintliness or a political party. It is neither a liberal nor conservative activity. It's a sacred Secret. Yes. Oh, and listen, it's happening right now. The angel is saying to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. A message for everyone, not just the ones favored by the empire. There's more. The angel is saying to them, and this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. A common baby, or not among those who could not afford better. Oh man, now there are a lot of angels saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward all. Peace, not through sacrifice, not through force, <laughs> not through war, but peace through goodwill. Through a new way of relationships. A new frame. A shift of consciousness. A metanoia moment. It will require a radical shift. That's why you will be an anti-establishment Jewish radical. That's why. And <laughs> that is why I will not be king. They'll misunderstand the message at first. They won't be able to understand that what needs to happen will take thousands of years. But we have to start sometime. So no time like the present. You know, miss you, you know. <laughs> Well, I can see that mom is just about ready to deliver me. So off I go. It's time to get this show on the road. <laughs> I swear I'm not usually this sort of <laughs> you're on vacation. Yeah, yeah that's where it's best. At United Church of the Valley, we seek to be inclusive of all people. We strive for peace and justice among all. We strive to protect and restore the integrity of our earth when we commit to a path of lifelong learning, compassion, and love. We invite you to be part of this mission and we thank you for your generosity. There's a collection plate on the organ for those who are here in person. And of course, all of us can make a donation by going to the website where you can use either Venmo or PayPal, or you can mail us a check to our PO box. In a beloved community, people care about one another and share their joys, sorrows, and concerns. Keeping abreast of what is going on in each other's lives helps us know that we are truly part of a beloved community. Every week, we gather the joys and concerns of our community via email so we can share them together today. They will be shown on the screen as I read them aloud. After each, I will say, together we pray, and we will respond together, there is so God. Mm -hmm. um, continue concern for Linda Hawkins as she asks for prayers for continued diagnostic testing, her and her treatment plan. Um, there has been a meal train set up to help provide meals for the family online. And just let me know if you can help. 
to go. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, continuing prayers for the Neil Carr and the whole Carr team family at the doctors considering a treatment place for grandpa mm -hmm. and that uh, Lincoln. It's, it's his best buddy, so it's going to be really, really good for Lincoln, too. So together, we pray. Yeah, uh, continuing first for Steve, and in the last week, they said that there's a surgery date, so that's good. Yeah. Together, we pray. Mm -hmm. with that. Lucas, anybody online? Uh, not so far. Yes, Lori. Um, my great granddaughter, who's four months old, has been in ICU. Uh, she got RSV and then bronchitis on top, so oh. you can't keep her lung uh, inflated, and she's having trouble getting out of oxygen. So. Where is she? And a second round. Together we pray for granddaughter. Granddaughter. Great granddaughter. Great granddaughter. Great granddaughter. Together we pray. Here. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Again, I'm not really Thank you for the Thank you. Um, I joined with Tamara's last night of our first Christmas apart together. Um, so that was really good to see her and uh, open the kids' gifts together, which we do on Christmas Eve. Um, so that was a joy. She's doing really well. Um, probably going on ship. Um, this next time around. So that's really exciting. Um, a couple of concerns. We had um, a dear church elder from our first church together, um, a good friend, Dave Parks, passed away last night um, of brain aneurysm, just all of a sudden. Um, so prayers for his family. Um, and then also my sister-in-law's brother had a brain aneurysm as well up in Michigan. Um, they caught it in time um, for them to be able to do some surgeries, but his recovery, he's, he's about our age, us children, yeah, um, younger than ours. So um, prayer for his recovery and um, for the family there as well. Yeah. My sister's still in the nursing home over in Henderson, Las Vegas area. She barely can get up and do her something here. She's just a, she's kind of by herself. Mm -hmm. Um when, when, when we pray that she can get up and take her. Mm -hmm. Prayers for Donna's family. Together we pray. Yes, ma'am. Rose, Angela, and Matthew, and I will be leaving tomorrow morning early to have a little time to again. Um, and uh, I understand Sister Hugh is kind of on again, off again, to get across the path in Oregon mm -hmm. uh, with, the, with the snow and ice and rain and stuff. Oh. And polar perfect song and whatever it's like. <laughs> and um and uh so for for safety for us and then for uh, Ruth and Dorothy staying home and you know minding the homestead and taking care of animals and, and trying to keep bread and wine and so forth. Oh yes sorry. Well that's the take first for people for um, missing family that's so good. And he encouraged the people to perhaps um, ostracized by their family mm -hmm. as much due to the circumstances outside of their people. First, the family is they navigate the emotional issues with ups and downs and all of this. Together to pray. Yes, Rose. For people who find the holidays just stressful, that's mm -hmm. definitely the best thing. Mm -hmm. They find the holidays stressful. You know, we pray. Let's share together a moment of holy silence. No matter how we understand prayer, we find that it's good to pray. Together we hold these names and words, spoken and unspoken, in a spirit of concern, a spirit of joy, 
a spirit of connection, and now in the spirit of prayer. Oh, great love, thank you for living and loving in us and through us. May all that we do flow from your deep connection with you and all beings. Help us become a community that vulnerably shares each other's burdens. Listen to our heart's longings for the healing of the world. We offer these prayers and all the holy names of God. Let us pray together in one voice. Jesus, the prayer Jesus taught his disciples, first the common burden that connects us to our parents, grandparents and great-grandparents. And then let us pray to another burden that speaks to many of our loneliness and understandings today. Our Father God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and thy will be done, and thy will be done. Give us this day and our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, and we will give our debts. Save us from our common ground, and we will give us to the Lord, for thy kingdom come, thy will be done. You have been spirit in the way to have it many things. We can call them by your names. We will give them to them. We will let them die. And I'll stay with you. You're going to be in the days of the days of the days of the days of the days. For the mind has been part of it. And we will be in the way to the land of the land. So we can have the land of the land of the land of fire. We will live in the land of the land of the land. For you are the dwelling place of the land of the land. The environment around us. And the dwelling of the land of the land. Now is the time when we pass the peace as an act of forgiveness and reconciliation. Jesus told his disciples that before they become, they come to be reconciled with God, they should first be reconciled with one another. And so during this time of sharing Christ's peace, you are encouraged to seek and offer forgiveness. When we turn to those around us with greeting, may the peace of Christ be with you and respond and with you also. We symbol our symbolize our unity even in the midst of divisions. When we pass the peace, we practice call, God's call to make every effort to maintain the bond of peace. Let us wave our peace to each other. May the peace of Christ be with you. And may God be with you. We need to provide our Christmas okay. Okay. Like, okay. We're just going to be with you. God is going to light all of our candles. One of the purple ones. It's okay, we have like 15 minutes. <laughs> 14. <laughs> I love that. It's the stress of the holidays, isn't it? Oh, thank you, Rob. Yeah, it is. It's five minutes. That's what it says. 
<laughs> it's lit. You know, I was um, doing the, you guys today, the Coventry Carol, I guess I, I thought probably more people knew it, but but maybe not. But the, this one was one that was kind of related with what we were talking about, um, because it really does talk about what happens with empire taking over. Because this is a story about that third uh, verse as Herod the king and his raging set forth the this day by his decree, no life spare thee, all children young to slay. Lori and I got through three verses. <laughs> and, um, and the deal is, man, when empire is in charge, they're, they keep charge. And that's where um, that's where we want to set this power on its ear. And uh, that to me yeah, she, is this Christmas. Just not to interrupt, but I'm just thinking one more joy and concern related to that. Um, the, the women in Afghanistan. Uh, mm -hmm. really, uh, you, want, you want to say a little more about that? Um, they're not allowed to go to school. They're and they're not even allowed. I heard this morning they're also not allowing them to go to work, and um, it's a really, really yes. bad time. To any more charitable causes, or anything. Exactly. And uh, people on the other side of the world, sometimes it's really easy to otherize. And you know what? No, people just like us. People just like us are having problems. People who want to go to school. Want to learn mm -hmm. um, who are by their government forced not to do that. Mm -hmm. So we keep, you know, remembering here is 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 as crabby as we might get when things aren't going our way. That there's far worse things that can be happening, and um, and we keep them in our prayers. So thank you, Lynn. Right, so here we gather at our communion table. We're gonna get time for the people at home, all of them, Jim. Mm -hmm. Do we have others on the line, We have Edna. Edna, oh my God, Merry Christmas. We'll give them time to gather their elements while we um, play another song.
word made flesh and gift divine, who offers us hope, peace, joy, and love, we pray for your spirit to overflow with blessing on these gifts, which are ours and yours. In the giving and in the receiving, may these gifts extend to bless others today and always. Amen. Amen. This gift is more precious than all the gifts of the Magi. It signifies our relationship with God and each other. And may we always be together. Peace. Will you join me in the prayer of thanksgiving? Holy One, we give thanks for the life of God, the and the great hope of the universe, the God, and all the decisions you have shared with us. The peace of God, the God, the God, the God, the Help us to have the strength and courage to be your eyes and hands, and may each of us be a great boy tomorrow, one day, one day. Yeah. Now, Donna is going to sing the first verse of Joy to the World, and then we're all going to join for verse two and verse three. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. We have a little intro. You'll know when they come in. Oh, uh, it's yeah, so good. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Another way. Um. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. 